there folks, it's uh, the rather windy Friday, but well, the sun's out, so we're out and about and we've just arrived at our first explore, our first location, heavy anti-aircraft gun emplacement, quite close to Scunthorpe, so let's take a look. What a fireplace. Okay, we've just come from the gate there, from the road, stumbled across what was a nice fireplace once. And we have this building. Not quite sure what's going on here. So, do we start with this one? Or do we start off down there? Should we look in here first? Close to us. Yeah. Not quite sure what's going on with the graffiti, but... Yeah, from the suitcase. Yeah, this is um I'm not sure who oh, the bones were. Drug user at very least. Hmm. Doubt it was a holiday maker. Yeah, not much evidence of anything in these. Looks like it's been used for Yeah, it's definitely had farming use. They're like Small, small children's shoes now, and the it gets worse. It's had heavy doors on it though. Oh, we still have one. And we have ribs. Yeah, they're the original doors. Mm, a bit dark though. This one ain't got the metal thing in it there. Those ribs are quite big. I wanted a cow big. Mm. I think uh, they're seized up. Oh, can we go from the outside? Look at the asbestos. Yeah. So I'm guessing that was a blast wall originally. At the side. And the original doors. I wonder. I don't think it says anything on there. He's squeezing out the door. I'm thinking about it. Oh. Mm. Yeah, look. There's a light there, but it's got a nest in it. Another nest up there. And another nest up there. Another nest up there. No light. Hmm. And a red triangle. I wonder if that was original. I think we're having a good time, I guess, with the spoon and the. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> Moving on. Oh, yeah, there's the blast wall, I reckon. Right. No 
quite sure what happened in there, folks. Moving on. I am kind of intrigued to what's going on in there, though. Quite a nice view from up here. Mm. Ah, you can just actually see the Humber Bridge. Oh yeah. Just over there. Let me see zoom in. Hmm. Right then, the gun emplacements. I'll put some uh Yeah. Shows on the map as a reservoir. Ah. Oh yeah. Well, I wish. It's that sort of thing. Yep. I have hair. So before we went off on that tangent, I'll put some information in the descriptions on this place. Because um, I read it this morning and as per usual, I've forgotten. It was a <clears throat> heavy anti aircraft battery. Let's see, we just. Just north ish of Scumstock. <laughs> yeah. So, there was a gun here a long time ago. Yes, probably, yeah, it would have been very similar to this, I think. If you haven't seen that video, we uh, went a few weeks back to Flamborough Head and some of the defences there. Weren't much there. No, however, we do have a little building there. So, should we try and see if we can get. I don't think I want to stand on that route because I don't know. It's not like I'm super fat or anything. <laughs> I mean, I don't think I saw it move. It could just be my eyes hmm. deceiving me. Well, we've got some kind of building there. So I think it's worth trying to get into this and. Ooh, try and have a look. Yeah, but if I jump down, I'll break a hip or something. I could too. Go down that way. See, they've got the disabled access at this side. <laughs> uh, huh. And we're in. That's why you're so dull, by the way. I'm sure that would hold me. Well, I did hold you. It's whether the wall falls out and it collapses. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh, it's a bit dark. Apparently we'll have a take out in there. Yeah. Uh, you want to come in and light it up? It's had electrics in here at some point. I mean, it's not a great deal to see. It's a bit... 
It's a rectangular. If that's not bright enough, you can turn the brightness up. And there we go. I thought at a lower brightness is still light enough, but it'll last yeah. longer. Yeah, somebody's been having a circle there. I wonder if they delivered to you. Mmm. <laughs> Give that. Uh, anything in the middle? Grass. It's really spongy. Any pictures of these in use? Hmm. There appear to be a lot of bees about. That was a good sign. Uh, I think they came onto something else, maybe. Mm. Yeah, do it. I like it was a little boat, some description. Should we go back out and then come back in again? Hmm. Yeah, as much as I can jump down, I, I can't always have to jump up. Gravity was on my side. Hmm. Now I did read something about these being modified. And they were built possibly in the late thirties. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's where some electrics came out. And there. Right, back up the disabled access. I thought you have to use the disabled access to get up. There's meant to be three still exist and one's been demolished. So see what else we can find here. All the brambles are starting to grow back. Ah, this looks a bit different. It's an underground thing. It's a shed. Well, yeah, that bit is. But the bit at the bottom there, made out of brick, I think there'll be some kind of command centre. I think it's one that might have rabbits living in it. There's lots of rabbits. Oh, I'm guessing this is the uh, demolished one. Maybe put an image of this up on uh, from Google Earth just so you can see where we're at. Well, I'd say we've come across the, uh, the central part of this and what looks like a control post. So let's uh, get into the nettles and we'll go take a look. My god, the nettles are high. I think they're not that bad. What? Don't huh? to start recording. Oh. Huh? Hmm. 
the only problem we've got. I've no idea what we're walking on. Right, now it's making a bit more sense. That looks like gun emplacement. Another one over there. No, that's what I was just thinking. And some kind of building here. Yeah, that shed thing to me. It looks like an old rail carriage. Yeah. Yeah. I wonder if it is. Or is it actually a shed? Maybe it's either a shed first off. There's another one there. Uh, should we do the boring bits first and we'll look at the open bits that we've already seen then we'll <laughs> do the interesting bit. Do the interesting bit. What's that mean? Yeah. Because it does look more interesting in that side. Mm. I'm not sure what's going on but... It's a bit up and down underfoot. <laughs> so it looks like that's a semi sunken bunker, folks. Well, first we'll have a look at all the different types of nettles we've got this year. I'd say this one looks a bit more intact, but not bad. Isn't it? Yeah, I don't think that was intentional. I don't know what's under foot wrist. It's like walking on a carpet. It's a bit squishy. It was like a 10 meter drop on the impact. There's been some iron work involved. Oh look, there's a concrete thing there. What's that? I didn't even see that for that. <sighs> That's a little full of either baby spiders or bugs. Yeah. Like a web? Kind of, yeah. Have a look. Right in the middle. Work. It's dirt. Mm. From the middle part, because it looks like all the dirt's come down. Yeah, it's dirt. Yeah. Mm. And a little full of baby spiders at first. things going on. Very much the same to be fair. Some 
more intact than the others. like the previous one yeah that's got another one that's tired yeah. ah look that's, that's a bit more interesting isn't it? Can actually see the uh, where it was mounted. So as it turns out, this is probably the better one then. Pretty much the same again, yeah. All about the mills around there, isn't it? Mm. Oh. Like a half pipe thing there. Mm. And also, when first came in, yeah. That one, I uh, yeah, I did. I don't know if it'll part of it, but it obviously is. Mm. Must have been to run something in. Yeah, that side's the same. How would? So this uh, weird-looking building, buildings. Sure, what's going on here? See there, we just kind of whatever this shed thing was. Definitely looks real carriage to me, but it's also been made part of this. Don't know if that's original or don't think we can get anywhere from through there.
Right, we've got a farmer turn up, so try and keep out of his uh, line of sight. Let's see if we can work out what this was. today first because it's flooded. But it's quite a size. Like more than one <laughs> building. Bring us a GoPro. We have a hole. Have a look down the hole, folks. Well folks, I won't know until I get home and have a look at the editing to see what was down there. I'm sure there's more to see here, but there's that farmer in the field right next to us. Look, there's another hole there. And you can see it's uh, wet. And another one. Oh well, let's maybe do another one down this one. What's that? Just, can you see it's wet? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't hear water. No, there's so much stuck up there right where you dropped. Beep. The doorway there. Well, I'm seeing a doorway. Yeah, we're going to have to come back and investigate this when there's not a farmer about. And yeah. Maybe a pair of wellers. So on that bombshell, with this rather interesting looking location, we'll do one. I mean, don't let us have private land. No, I don't think it did. Maybe I, can... I don't mind saying hello to him. It's not like we've done our wrong. Well. Yeah. Big traffic yeah. So that was a heavy anti-aircraft uh, battery. This is yep. Yeah. Yeah, that's definitely got more than one horsepower. Well folks, that's it for uh, this location and this video. Thanks for coming along with us, taking a look and uh, we have to come back to this one. 
there's definitely more to be investigated. So, catch you in the next one. Hello. You can't have my phone. It's a phone. Bit of a day job, eh, folks? Hi there, folks. Uh, we're back here again. Back at the anti-aircraft uh, battery. Joined by uh, Andy from ALW, ALW Research Team. Please check out his link in the description. If you haven't already uh, subscribed to him, please do. He has a good channel. So, let's see what we can find. So we've got a concrete structure there. Concrete base. Then bricks around it. That's a roof. That's it is. Is that the command centre? It is. Right. So we're looking at the command centre here. Semi sunken command centre. There we are. So we're going to get in that. I think the entrance is just round here. Not quite. I think. Uh, well, I think it's crumpled. Is that the back? Yeah. The there is some stairs down if we go sort of round it and in. Yeah, yeah. Let's do and that. it's just a bit further that way yeah. down the building. This is the way. Down, so. And this must be the uh, the fourth one. The, yeah, that is yeah. Yeah. That is the fourth gun battery here that we've been that has been demolished. Because I know this part here. You'll see it on one of the other ones in place. Right. So the farmer smashed it up and pushed it into the corner. Yeah. Just to reclaim a bit of the land to return it to farming. Which a lot of these places did have done. Some gal tube in there. It's like it was ventilation. Or a stove chimney, perhaps. Yeah, you can see the, the nettles are in uh, fine form this year. Yes. <laughs> yes, well, it was very wet a couple of months ago, viewers. It certainly it was. was. Very sunny. So, I've read up since this is to do with pig farming. Yeah. This is uh, after the uh, after the fat, shall we say. Yeah, so after the war, this was used by a pig farmer. And these buildings here were built by him, and these are the old railway carriages, um, stereotypical railway yeah. cars that were added to it. That's not necessarily of interest to us, but it's here all the same. It is. It's worthy of note. Yeah, I love a, love a good railway carriage, especially those. There was something about those. There was, wasn't there? Yeah. Mm. In the garden. Yeah, an intact one. Yeah. Painted up. Well, this one hasn't fared too well. Uh, no. Shame there's nothing to identify what they were from. Yeah, what brand? Yeah. These were all private companies, weren't they, before the days of British Rail? Yeah. I mean, for all. For all. There. That's a date stamp there. That's an LBC. A modern. That's the cement that's been in the back of a modern LBC brick. So we can see that that's probably from the 1960s. Ah look, look at those bricks down there, they look not that old. Yeah the more modern, those yeah. not Second World War. Yeah they're like council bricks from the 60s. I feel like what my house is made out of. That's my a, that old rough old, yeah. There. Yeah that rippled effect. Yeah. Yeah the houses uh, from one to six are made out of like an engineering brick. Oh, yeah, they, were they were made before the war. Yeah. Man was made after it. Yeah. Well, I lived in number six. Yeah. So. Oh, so did I. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, yeah, command bunker, I, I assume. It was. So. Now, when we were here yesterday, we kind of looked down there and it does look a bit moist. But yeah, that does look quite moist. But I don't know how deep. Deep enough, I think. That's that's wellies. That's what I was thinking. It's so that might be Pippa with a GoPro. 
<laughs> Where's that well is? And oh, that, I assume, boots. is a separate building. Going, it man. is a non-standard command centre, this. Yeah. It had radar here, didn't it? Yeah, they have the later, uh, they have the early radars here. And this might have had women from the Auxiliary Territorial Service. Quite possible, yes. Well. Yes. Hence the non-standard. Oh, you mean it had female toilets? Female toilets, it, it is. Yeah. It is, they had female toilets and they had a boiler for central heating. Whereas the earlier ones didn't. And these have got the crew rooms, which again reinforces that this was a later or modified position. How did we just take a water is? I don't know. Well, I could go grab my wellies. Yeah, ten Rabbits. Yeah. And hairs into the air. Yeah. yeah. That so isn't quite jumpable. It is. I, I managed it yesterday and I, I didn't I break anything. So. And I had low blood pressure yesterday, so. Yeah. Do you want me to show you? Go on then, you no. go first. Uh, Show me how it's done. Yeah, so you scale it. Yes, yeah. put the weight into your front leg. Uh, yeah. Just look back out when you're doing it. Basically. Yeah. It was a bit hard yesterday because I was close to passing yeah. out. So yeah, yesterday I, I shoved my GoPro down this hole here. Oh right, yeah. Um, and then realised there's a hole there and there's a hole there. Yeah, this has been for stoves, I think. And then I looked where that little bit of blast wall is. Yeah. This looks like it's an air conditioning duct and not an opening. Well, it goes into it. Well, let's go into it. And there is water on the floor, but I'm not sure how deep. I'll find out in a sec. <coughs> it revisit. Oh, there's all 1940s, but it down there. Is there? Yep. Yeah. This is a revisit. Wait, stop. We've We've got got the in there. And the electrics. Uh, no, I haven't actually. About very deep. Uh, right. Uh, no. Yeah, uh, I'll just swap cameras. Yeah, so. I'll leave that running actually. Yeah. Flash it to Eddie. That, one, that one's on record. So this is Eddie's camcorder. Yeah. Can I uh, turn the F stop now? Or is it an auto? Right, so we're in. This is inside the command centre. Can you see the old bucket down there, viewers? And then we've got the blue paint there, and it's got a black pinstripe above it. Can you see that? Can you make that out? And then we've got the, the blue paint there with the black pinstripe above it. And then down in that corner, there's a, an electrical incomer. And then over there is the centre of the screen now. That is the galve trunking that used to house the electrics. And then we can see there, in the centre of the screen now, that is what used to be an old coat hook. So there we are. That is inside this command bunker. We will be returning because I'll make sure Eddie gets some waders. I'll get him on Amazon and get him, get him to get some waders and we'll come back here. Because that is, I estimate that is about two and a half to three feet deep. So it's above above the knee joint. So quite deep. But the water looks very clean. It does, Yeah, can you see that through one of the holes? Hello. Hello, hi. Yeah, so that looked very good and well worth a revisit. But not today. That is for waders. There we are, back to Eddie. Brilliant. Yeah, that looks good in there. That's what cameras are yeah. So, this is going to be a revisit. So, thank you. Thank you very much for watching. Check out Eddie and uh, Philippa's channel, Blown 8 Cylinder. It is, yes. So, check that out and uh, subscribe to him on this button here. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel on that button there. And why not watch this video next?
thanks for watching bye bye for now got nettle stings <laughs> is it me or do nettle stings last longer than they ever used to do i found that yeah as a more, kid you'd, you'd get more stingy yeah my legs are longer than i think <laughs> yeah mine are so long so yeah, it would be nice to see in there. To get in there as well. Father, you oh, from the jumping spot. <laughs> I don't want to go down to Nettles, I'm not no. not it. No, go on, it'd be good if we can get on. I'm already film. exhausted, that's the issue. I've already I'm lost my energy. Yes, yeah, I've already lost my energy for today, which doesn't help. I wonder if one was the command post and the other was the radar. That was the radar. <laughs> I'll look into this and I'll share the obviously share the information yeah. with you. Because there will be. We need to be careful up here because there's going to be them holes again. Like ankle snappery, yeah. ankle snapping holes. I haven't broken any holes. Ah, if you get ah. your foot stuck in there. How about we clear that hole out? To have interest, we're going to go for it. Yeah, yeah. And we'll just stick it down and have a quick. I'll do it with my boots, but I don't want to kick you. Well, that's alright. I yeah. think it's done by horses. It's never done any damage. Yeah, I don't think bells. Yeah, but we've, uh, we've got a hole there, so we're going to have to investigate. We oh, yeah. are. One of the magazines, and it looks like it's been damaged, possibly when they pulled the gun out after the war. It's around the entrance here. This would have had a gate on it at one point, which is now long gone. See again, the whitewashing inside ready use magazine. Got the brackets, which is what we believe is for cameras. Now, what we can see here, here is you spotted, these are the mountings for the Vickers QF quick firing 3.7 inch gun. They go around there, and there'll be more of these as it goes around right here. Ah, is that one there? Yep, yeah, that's one. And then there'll be a little gully for the cable. Yes, yeah. <laughs> little gully there for the cable in there. That was the cabling because these were toward ah. the end of the war. Yeah. Hydraulic. Another bigger one. And radar guided. They are your mountains yeah. for the because you wear three point seven inch gun. I didn't spot all of them yesterday. It's always worth a read, is it? Isn't yep, it? Yep, definitely. And then we've got the crew room over there. The unique crew room. And have you seen how the, the bitumen top has slid down? Yeah, as it's never keyed to the concrete. Yeah. It's like, a, it's like a towel's been left out to dry. Yeah, it's like slid down. Well, I did know our theory on the camo nets. If you notice, there's behind you, you've got a mount. Yes, here. And at that corner, and it seems to be in each corner. Mm, which would yes. make sense. To sling a net right over. Yeah. Luftwaffe knowing it was here this was one of the ready use lockers and it's, it's had a bit of a mishap the walls collapsed seems to have sort of 
pushed out. Have a look in this crew room. More signs of electrics in this one. Ah, uh, it's got the pipes coming out of the wall. Yeah. Yeah. In the same place as the other one, just on the corners uh, there. Um. There. Yeah. I wonder if it's been snapped off yeah, in the, the wall. Metal recycling enthusiast. Yeah. <laughs> that one wears a collar. Yeah. Well, that's the. Uh, Monetization enabled. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think that's the better example one. I wonder if these big gullies. Do you reckon that's where they put the spent shells? Oh, maybe. I've not seen those before. Because they'll be hot, so they can get them out. Cool them down them somewhere. Put them there to cool down. That have water in then, surely. Yeah, to cool the brass down. Ah, that is a good idea. Uh, yeah, I, I looked at them before, thinking, not sure. We yeah. shell size down. Yeah, there. and I was in the back of my mind with the pig use. Not being troughs have they? They could have been. They could have been fitted after as troughs. Yeah. For the pig use. Because I've not seen those before. Ah, I've so it could be part of this later addition to make this area into but just farm. on that argument the destroyed one there has the evidence of that in the bubble it could be and that's just put me on to the thought that large pigs are quite brutal aren't they yeah you don't want to get too close and i wonder if that's why these bloody use lockers have been knocked down i wonder if the pigs have been that uh, that would make sense Bonded in so that goes back to theory one. Oh. It was part. That bottom brick yeah, so that, Oh, it's all tied in. That's the original wall, and yes, yeah. you're right, Pip, that is all tied well in. Spotted. So that so that is World War Two. Yeah. That is one of the modifications as the I mean, perhaps they use it for trough houses, you never know, but that, it makes sense though. For cooling That's spent cool shells, yeah. Down, yeah. It was a very good quality, generally. It's the same era, so it's the same, that, that brick, yeah, it's all keyed in. So it has been there during the Second World War. Yeah. So it's quite a bit. I just thought that'd be just worth a check, just put that bit of nettle. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so that confirms that. Yeah, gun pit. Right. And this has got this has got the base of where that truck would have been to put the hot shells in. On the subject of pigs, I think that might be an addition for pigs. Yes. Agreed. Agreed. Yeah, which then backs up the theory of the part there. That they were already there. Yeah. Uh, that they were there already. What was that? That, don't know. that's chain, they're links, yeah. that hook should go down that one, there'd have been another one on there. Yeah, there's a big stake in there, I don't know what that was for. Well, there's quite a big stake as well. Yeah. Now over this side to, uh, I think more, no, I think this, this side's been broken out more maybe, that's all, I don't know. The destruction that we think was maybe done by the pigs, where they put the wall out and the ceilings come down, the roofs come down. Here's the a squashed pig. Yeah, because I reckon that piece of concrete's quite heavy. Yeah. I bet there's a good ton of so in it. Yeah. Got the, the braces again for what we believe is 
Hold the camera on this thing. It'd have been, ah, there we go. There's one in place on the outside row. That one? Yes. We've got, <coughs> you want to go first, Eddie? The last crew room. Hang on. Unique. Crew room. room. There's a bit of light. There's a lot of burrows. Try again. Burrows in this one. Oh, is this the water ship down one? It's, uh, yeah, it's either been very wet. Oh, it's had a lot of animal activity. As you can see, and the floor is very soft. Oh, yeah. Well, we've got the evidence of the electrics in that corner. Well, that'll have been a vent, wouldn't it, that brick? There's writing on the wall. 8, 9, 10, 11. Oh, there is. And this is our, this is our different electrics in, look. Yeah, you can see the, the wooden plugs in there. In fact, they go all the way around. You see that on the wall, viewers? There's what, the number 8, number 9, number 10, number 11, number 12. What could that have been for? Not seen it in the others, but no. didn't look for it because we didn't know it was there. No. And I think the floor's different in here. I'm wondering if this is actually built up a bit with just mud and... I wonder if it actually had pigs in here. And we're kind of stood on... Poop. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the floor's softer. Very soft. Could be. But you've still got to step up to get out of it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so this is more like the original floor height where the others are semi filled in. Yeah. Yeah, because we can stand up in it. Yeah. The others, the floor height's up here. But I think they've been filled in over time. You know, the farmer's chucked his old rubbish in there or whatever. What's weird is it looks like it has been flooded. Yeah, there's a tide mark. There's a tide mark. So. Tide mark there. Then it's drained. So it looks very wet, or it's been very, very wet in that corner. Yes. No, we are. Yeah. So. Ooh. What? That yeah, we, you can see that on the other side where it goes in. Yeah, two pieces. In the nettle. Oh, oh there. Yeah, I don't know what that is. We need to go see. We need. We need to go see what that is. We do. Yeah. Um, go down there. Go down there. And just, uh, oh, can we get out? Oh, can you get out? Just that side. It doesn't look that bad. We can probably get out that way. Uh, yeah, we can actually. That. Does that look like the steel work inside one of those railway carriages? It might be actually, yeah. Or is it the remains of a radio map? Is that the base of a mast? Because it would have had a radio it would. Mast. That looks quite old steel, doesn't it? I suppose the question is, yeah, it's, it's... Is that steel or iron? What material is that? That's concrete. At the bottom. So it's into a concrete. That is, yeah, that is into concrete. That is a radio mast. Or the remains of yeah. a radio mast. Right here at Scunthorpe. Sunny, sunny, something The question is, was it there originally? I mean, it's old metal. What? Or is that it's literally a pile metal. of bits they've destroyed? Similar to the brackets for the camo netting. Yeah. Well, there's brick rubble in here as well. Yeah. Do you think this was a radio hook and this was the radio mast? I wonder. Because it would have had communication with a command centre somewhere. Yeah. It'd be nice to find an old plan layout for it. It would be nice, yeah, an old, yeah. Like site plan. Yeah, definitely. Lots. I mean, there's brick rubble here. Yeah, we're building there. It's been. That is old style bricks. They're not there. They're like set 
World War bricks like yeah. was. Oh look, I thought there's a wall here. Uh, I wonder if this is where the Nissan hut was. Nissan hut? Yeah. Because it's, it's curved. So there's been a Nissan hut here, which you would have radio operators in. Yeah. So this has been That's a radio operator's hut. Yeah. Madness. Yeah. But this that actually feels quite okay. solid, yeah. Solid there, so. and then the brick's up and it's hard. It's coming up on an arc. So that's been the thing. This is putting there's all the steel off the this is all piled up. Another part of the yeah. Yeah. You can have a nap in the car on the way back. You can see where the, you can see where the farmer's been going round though. Yeah. He hasn't been working, he's just been having a look. He's been having a look in here. He's looking for you, isn't he? I mean we didn't hide from him. Well folks, a bit of a deja vu for me. Uh, I was only here yesterday. But being joined with Andy from ALW research team. We've oh. had an absolutely amazing time here. And we're definitely going to be coming back. Definitely. So, if you haven't already checked out Andy's channel, I'll put a link in the description. Um, if you haven't uh, subscribed to me, why not? It's free. And I'll catch you on the next one. Bye.